ERCA is one of most deadly weapon on US military right now. The Army's Extended Range Cannon Artillery ERCA, system under development hit a target 43 miles away, or 70 kilometers, on the nose at Yuma Proving Ground, Arizona, December 19, using an Excalibur Extended Range Guided Artillery shell, according to the general who is overseeing the service's long-range precision fires modernization. I don't think our adversaries have the ability to hit a target on the nose at 43 miles, Brig General John Rafferty, who is in charge of the effort, told a small group of reporters in a teleconference immediately following the test. The Army is racing to extend artillery ranges on the battlefield to take away advantages of high-end adversaries like Russia. The ERCA cannon, when fielded, should be able to fire and take out targets from a position out of the range of enemy systems. The ERCA cannon takes an M109A7 Paladin Integrated Management PIM, howitzer chassis and replaces the 39 caliber gun tube with a 58 caliber 30 foot one. Combined with Raytheon made Excalibur munitions and an XM1113 using supercharged propellant, the Army has been able to dramatically boost artillery ranges. In March, the Army inched closer to the ultimate goal of 70 km and it took two shots, both reaching 65 km in range. In this test, the Army took three shots. The first shot came up short due to very high headwinds at a high altitude and the second shot had a hardware failure, but the third shot proved that the service is getting closer to dialing in on the right balance between propellant, projectile design and other factors that play into achieving greater distances, Rafferty said. This demonstration is not a destination, Colonel Tony Gibbs, the Army's program manager for combat artillery system, told reporters. This is really just a waypoint in our ongoing campaign of learning as we work to really realign U.S. supremacy in cannon artillery. It's definitely a big knowledge point for us today. Each munition fired during Saturday's event had slight design differences to address how best to design and prepare the round to absorb the high pressure and force of being fired at 1000 meters per second from a gun tube of ERCA's caliber, Rafferty said. What was consistent was the propellant configuration, he added. So we got that propellant configuration, I think dialed in really close down, which is great. The first shot, due to the winds, fell short by roughly 100 meters, which, Rafferty said, sounds like a lot but is closer when considering when the munition has to travel 70,000 meters. The Army knew the first shot would come up short due to wind, but wanted to take it anyway in order to learn from it. The second shot, the Army had modified the hardware configuration and experienced a hardware failure, Gibbs confirmed. Specifically, the Army added an isolator for the inertial measurement unit, which is essentially a shock absorber to counter the pressure spike in the chamber. 
We did have some concerns with the survivability of that, Rafferty said. U.S. Army nears choosing 1st Battalion for Extended Range Cannon. The U.S. Army is preparing to select an existing field artillery battalion to receive the 1st Extended Range Cannon Artillery System, according to Brig General John Rafferty, who is in charge of the service's long-range precision fires modernization efforts. Fielding will take place in 2023, but the Army will have to announce the unit with enough time to carry out a year-long operational assessment, he said at the Association of the U.S. Army's Global Force Next virtual event on March 16. The assessment will be critical for working through the operational concept for how we fight with general support artillery fires and the division, he said. At the same time, the Army is synchronizing the delivery of ammunition to include propellant and course-correcting fuses for the operational assessment, he added. The service plans to deliver real-time soldier feedback to the engineers who are working on the next battalion set of ERCA systems. The Army will also evaluate concepts of sustainment during the assessment because this really will impact a division's ability to sustain and especially the fire's warfighting function, which we have already put a lot of pressure on our sustainment and logistics partners, Rafferty noted. The ERCA cannon hit a target 43 miles away, or 70 kilometers, on the nose at Yuma Proving Ground, Arizona, in December 2020 using an Excalibur extended range guided artillery shell. The Army is racing to extend artillery ranges on the battlefield to take away advantages of high-end adversaries like Russia and China. The ERCA weapon, when fielded, should be able to fire at and destroy targets from a position out of the range of enemy systems. The ERCA system takes an M109A7 Paladin integrated management howitzer chassis and replaces the 39 caliber gun tube with a 58 caliber, 30 foot one. Combined with Raytheon-made Excalibur munitions and an XM1113 using supercharged propellant, the Army has been able to dramatically boost artillery ranges. The path to fielding ERCA at this point, Rafferty said, is not without risk. But our team, we work together every single day to knock these problems down. Things like the rotating band, the copper rotating band on our traditional artillery projectiles, works great for a 20-foot gun tube, but when you add 10 feet to that gun tube, we found that that was causing excessive wear and getting some engraving on the side of the projectiles," he said. The Army team acknowledged the issue, according to Rafferty, and developed a new rotating band, in pretty short order. Rafferty said he anticipates the road ahead will still feature these types of hurdles, but that the team is prepared to work through them.